Guys, how's it going? It's Philip at Trade Genius. So we wrapped up the month. We're going to take a look at the month chart, the weekly chart, and our midweek uh, smaller time frames and show you guys what levels we're looking at as well as what the higher time frames mean. Uh, in the meantime, guys, uh, real quickly, again, if you want to get any of these specials, uh, like our summer special number one that has the crypto and the binary options, binary options are 106 wins, six losses, going back to March 2017 when we started this program. That in and of itself will pay for this. So, And then you're going to get all the other stuff, chat room access, express signal, blah, blah, blah. So uh, really, really discounted. Um, we're letting that price hang a little bit longer here So just because it was the first of the month. So uh, you do have a limited amount of time to get to that if you want that, but really, really smoking deal there. Okay, let's go take a look at these charts on Bitcoin and the alts. Trade genius. All right, guys. So if we look at the monthly chart, you know, uh, I'm going to point a couple things out here that is going to coincide with my short term outlook. You notice that every time we've come and made a, a any kind of green bar where we closed the month higher than we opened, uh, we're, we've been followed by a red bar. This is going back to December, right? Uh, as we came down into this downtrend, and we've recently broke the downtrend line here, and we'll see that on the smaller time frame charts, but you'll notice that we've always come up, and we've kind of made these like double tops. This is not quite a double top, but close. And we see that every time we print a green bar, and then we have a red bar. Okay, and the same thing here, green bar, and then a red bar, and then uh, and now we have another green bar also you'll notice that the ranges on the monthly are getting smaller when we do have green bars uh, this is typically a tightening pattern you'll see and then you get a larger release move up <clears throat> now that being said we get these tests of the previous month high what we're looking for here is this level so uh, you know basically at the high of this monthly bar is 8496 so I'm expecting, yes, we're having a little bit of a pullback here. The initial print on this new month bar is red, but that's okay because we've had a decent run up off the lows and, you know, the Fibonacci retracements I'll show you later in the video, you'll see that uh, this is not, uh, you know, this is just normal kind of retracement stuff, not, not getting overdone or anything like that, but that could probably propel us to go up and then uh, retest this 8,500 level or maybe a little lower uh, because ultimately I think what it is is a double test of the 200 day moving average which we failed before that failing that would be a catalyst to go lower if we look at the weekly chart um, again we had a decent run up um, and now this new weekly chart uh, candle is printing lower but uh, for me uh, obviously uh, what I'm looking to see hold here is this high of this uh, uh, 76.96 is this high of this week. And, you know, essentially what we have there is a level that kind of coincides with this previous weekly bars up here. Uh, now, obviously, we've broken that. So that's what I was looking at, that when we've broken below that. So that's going to be a level to me to get back above. Uh, and kind of coincided <clears throat> on the chart that I showed you guys, uh, I think on Monday, was the 7777 level. Uh, this is a little lower than that, but very close. And so that's going to be resistance going back up to that level. And then your broader support down here at 68, uh, 6900 would be um, the uh, weekly, another weekly support level. So we're getting some retracement here. And looking for that to probably subside here. Uh, and I'm going to show you on the smaller time frames what I'm looking at. <clears throat> and this has more to do with trend lines, uh, not so much the uh, technical support resistance level. So now if we go to a daily chart, and we're going to go out of this and into this. So this is a four hour uh, Bitcoin chart. Now, as you can see, we were holding, holding, holding up here, and then we broke down. So uh, we broke down, we hit this old trend line. This is off of our old pennant that we broke down out of 
and made those ultimately made those recent lows. Um, so we broke down to that level. We spent a few hours kind of respecting that level. Also coincided with the 77, 77 level. And then that finally let loose. And now we came down to this other level. And I've already had these levels drawn. You can see them in the other videos. And currently we're at the 75, uh, 30 area. Uh, I do think this ultimately wants to tag though this level here or this downtrend line. And that would is going to be approximately around the 7350 level to, to touch it. And it'll probably overshoot a little bit. But couple, couple that with you have this area here, uh, which basically is this area that we broke out of. Uh, and that's from 7550 essentially down to about the 7300 level. So there's going to be, you know, obviously you can see it on the volume profile. There's a big node right there. So I am looking at this level to actually get a bounce from. And then uh, ultimately if we can get some kind of bullish divergence on the RSI, that would be extra extra juice to uh, for the bounce there. So that's what we're looking at uh, as far as um, getting long off of a pullback here. Uh, the Fibonacci's you'll notice are stacked in this area too, although they are below it. Uh, so again, that's just kind of showing you that a pullback like this is okay. Uh, it's not uncommon that you pull back to the fib zones and then bounce from there. Or sometimes you don't even quite get to them and you bounce. But a pullback like this after uh, a run up from basically for the whole month of July essentially was a big up month as you saw in the monthly candle. So that's pretty much it guys. That's a midweek update on Bitcoin. Now uh, looking at the altcoins. Uh, <clears throat> alts, actually if you look at the multi charts you'll see that the there's been some bounces across the board on the alts um, that could be related to the fact that we started getting to this uh, longer term trend line that we remember we said focus on this. I mean, we still could tag it. There could still could be a little bit more uh, downside, but once we tag it, I think I'd be looking at strategically getting long some of the more, some of the stronger stuff out there on in the alts. So, because as you can see, once you hit these levels, you get some pretty wicked bounces off of them. And this has been going on. This uh, this channel has been going on since 2017. So uh, beginning of 2017 and, and beyond. So uh, definitely a level to respect there. Uh, as far as the relationship with uh, altcoins and Bitcoin, just using Ethereum kind of as a uh, proxy for the altcoin market. Uh, as you can see, we're still seeing... Um, Right now, we're kind of seeing where it's 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 more or less kind of in step with Bitcoin right now. Um, you, what's interesting to see, and I'm still looking at when we get these thrusts up, you see the opposite reaction in the altcoin market, and then they kind of go into step with each other. And so that's kind of what I want to see basically change as far as the altcoin market, is that when Bitcoin does have an up move, we see the same thing in the altcoins instead of the alt, the move going up and a lot of auto trading bots and stuff will leave the alt positions and chase the Bitcoin move up, which is why you have that kind of inverse reaction at first. And then it starts to harmonize after that. So um, not right now seeing synchronization, I think it's uh, going to be like that until we see Bitcoin uh, make another move higher. And that at that point, we need to take a look and see if the altcoins will react negatively or if they're in step this time. So, all right guys, well that's it for the midweek update. I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Take care, bye. Trade Genius.